John F. Kennedy once said, our progress as a nation can be no swifter than our progress in education. More than three decades later, his words still ring true. In today's complex world, we're finding success in life often begins with success in school. A high school diploma. Without one, the ability to succeed in life is almost impossible. Yet, more than 7,000 students drop out of high school every day, accounting for approximately 1.3 million dropouts each year in the United States. And statistics show that despite increased national attention, the rates have only risen for the second year in a row. According to research, the dropout rate in America is nearly 30%, and uh, the rate is significantly higher for African Americans and Hispanics and Latinos. There is no one significant reason why students drop out, but it may be several reasons. For example, um, students may have a difficult time with transitions from the middle school to the high school. They may have low attendance, um, poor grades. They're not motivated. They may lack um, the basic skills that are required. Also, there may be cultural differences or language barriers or social barriers also. The effects of dropping out of high school reach far beyond career success. Research has shown that people who don't complete high school are more likely to become incarcerated and even suffer poor health. According to research, dropouts are more likely to join gangs. Uh, therefore, you know, incarceration and it's a way of life for them. Uh, these students are also, you know, they heavily rely on government assistance because they cannot provide for themselves nor their families. Um, and one of the things I've also, uh, you know, found in research is that these students have a shorter lifespan and very poor health because of lack of resources. But I think the most important thing that I have come to find out is that these children end up being single parents of children that in the future have a very high possibility of being dropouts themselves. And so the cycle just, you know, continues and continues and it just needs to be stopped. It is for this reason that one school district in Texas decided to create a powerful alternative education program to help students who have dropped out or are at risk of dropping out. When I started as superintendent five years ago, uh, I told the staff that we had three goals. One of them was every child a reader. Number two was every dropout back in school and every student a graduate. So when we looked at the numbers, the number of freshman students entering school, and we looked at how many were completing school, there was a gap there. And because of that gap, we felt that we needed to do some things differently. A lot of students experience many challenges, just different kinds of things that prevent them from finishing school. And so we knew that we had to uh, provide different settings for kids so that they could uh, be able to finish school. And that's how the ideas were born, to have these different I call them special schools because they really are special. Uh, they're taking kids who have faced many, many challenges along the way and, uh, and helping them be successful. La Jolla Independent School District's alternative education programs work side by side with students to inspire them to fulfill their graduation requirements while preparing them for success not only in college, but in life. Today, over 1,000 students have graduated from the La Jolla Independent School District's Alternative Education Program. Approximately 523 students graduated from the College and Career Center since the center opened its doors in 2008. Students who otherwise would have had been a part of the nation's dropout statistics. The Alternative Education Centers at each of our high schools, the idea was born uh, due to the fact that we had one alternative center for our three high schools and we were graduating kids that were falling behind in their credits, that may be overaged, and were experiencing um, difficulty keeping up with their peers at the regular high school. And so we had one for La Jolla High School. We had the La Jolla High School Accelerated Center. And so uh, when we saw that and we saw how many kids we were graduating, uh, we came up with the idea that we needed to have one for each of our high schools so that each high school would have a center where kids who were having difficulty would be able to um, go just temporarily uh, and be able to obtain their credits and be able to catch up on whatever classes they were behind in. And then once they got their credits, they could go back to the big school. The College and Career Center accomplishes this through a dedicated team that works together to provide a nurturing and supportive environment for students who require an alternative education. 
small class size, and a flexible schedule offer a close-knit learning community which accommodates students' busy lifestyles. In a small classroom setting, uh, we're able to uh, get to know our students a little better and, and build strong relationships with them. And they start opening up and trusting us and sharing some personal problems they might be having. And we help them become problem solvers. Uh, in this program, we do have uh, flexible schedules and uh, because a lot of our students do work. Unfortunately, there's a really high percentage of dropouts and we're trying to get those students back in school, finish college, and give them enough um, college readiness skills and really life skills to continue. With three programs that are designed for students at different stages of requirement completion, College and Career Center is determined to prove that it is never too late to make it happen. Carla Lopez is just one of hundreds of students who came here to earn her diploma and build a better future. I came here when I found out I was pregnant. Um, I was coming here with my big old belly. It was kind of interesting because I wanted to like graduate. So um, I was one of those students that would always get in trouble, but like coming here, I gained all my credits and like I actually passed my tax commended. I really liked my experience here. I like I got along with the teachers. They gave me a lot of attention that I needed. I needed a lot of that. It finally helped me achieve my long, long, long time goal of, of finally graduating. I feel like I'm more prepared. Like I don't feel like I used to without. I didn't feel like I had anything. I didn't have all. I didn't have my degree or nothing. I didn't have no motivation to go to college. I didn't know what I wanted to do and now I have more of a, I have more goals set for my life and for my son. By believing in each and every student's ability to achieve, La Jolla's College and Career Center envisions a future with fewer dropouts, more students attending college, and a lower crime rate. Simply, in today's times of change, obstacles and economic uncertainty, Center Director Ronnie Cabrera believes education is the answer. Education gives you the foundation and the opportunities to acquire those skills that are going to be required by society, by employers. So you have the edge, the competitive edge, to go and get a better job, a better future for your family. La Jolla Independent School District Alternative Education Program. It's never too late to make it happen. To find out more, please visit www.lajoyaisd.net or call the number on your screen. Some great people and ideas. We're glad you can join us here on the Profile Series. Be sure to join us again next time for more stories of success. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr.